This week, I'm reviewing a gadget which claims it'll help you attract pretty birds. I'm talking, of course, about this kind of bird. I'm not sure men are allowed to call women birds or, in America, chicks these days. And in any event, I'm well past my best before date for attracting women. The gadget is called the Bird Buddy. And it's a bird feeder with a solar-powered integrated camera which takes a photograph of any visitors, identifies what type of bird they are, and then sends you a notification to tell you that a great tit has visited your garden. Now, design-wise, I think it looks pretty good. It's a nice, clean, contemporary design. Almost a little bit childlike, but that's okay. And I like the colour. It'll stand out against the background without being garish. But if you do want something a little bit brighter, it also comes in yellow. So first, where to put this thing? Well, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds website suggests birds aren't too fussy. It just needs to be somewhere quiet, sheltered and not too close to bushes where predators could lie in wait. So let's go and find somewhere. Now, I guess most people are going to want to put a bird table somewhere in the garden where they can see birds landing on it from a room in the house that they use regularly. Unfortunately, we haven't really got anywhere in our garden where we can do that unless I stick the bird table somewhere right in the middle of the garden. And I don't really want to do that. But the great thing about the bird buddy here is that it's going to be filming the action wherever I put it so I can put it wherever I want. So I think I'm going to go and put it over here on the wall. So first of all I bought this optional extra wall mount for the bird buddy. A couple of screw holes on the back there and I've already drilled the holes left and right to mount it to the wall so we'll just pop that on there. There we go. Next thing you have to pair the camera with the inevitable app. I've already done that. It took about five minutes to pair it but then another half an hour to download the firmware update. Uh, next you have to attach the camera to the solar panel on the roof of the bird buddy via a rather short cable. There we go. It's not too difficult. And that just pops in there like that. And then finally add some bird seed. So I've bought some peckish natural balance 100% local wild bird mix which it tells me will attract popular garden birds loved by robins, tits, blackbirds, finches and sparrows. So let's see. And that's a little flap on the back there. Pull that in. Oh God. Ashes. Oh God, I'm not sure how you're supposed to fill this up without it pouring out of the front. Anyway, that'll do. So there we go. It can surely only be minutes before my garden is awash with nightingales, willow tits and lesser spotted woodpeckers. Well, it's 24 hours later and nothing so far. But then I got an email from Bird Buddy saying getting your first postcard, which is a picture of your visitor, can take up to a month. A month? Really? Where are all these bloody birds going? Have they had a better invitation or something? Don't waste your time at the Guthrie's. There's a much better piss-up going on the other side of the village. They're serving suet balls over there with fresh insects. Well, hey, look at this. It's my first visitor, which it says is a greater spotted woodpecker and Eurasian magpie. Well, I don't see an awful lot of uh, greater spotted woodpecker action going on there, but I do see quite a lot of magpie. And the picture quality is really very good. Look at that. There it is, eating away on the bird table. 
Well, another 48 hours later and I've had all sorts of visitors to the feeder. It's been an absolute bloody procession, like a queue for Noah's Ark. Here we go, squirrel, squirrel, Eurasian magpie, Eurasian magpie and Western jackdaw, except it's not, it's uh, just a magpie, Eurasian magpie, squirrel, 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 mystery visitor, which is a magpie, Squirrel, Eurasian magpie, squirrel. I'd better get Sir David Attenborough on the phone. I'm sure he'll want to be amongst the first to know about this explosion in the population of rare wildlife species here in Somerset. Joking aside, I wonder whether the problem might be that I've fixed this bird buddy to this wall here, which it turns out is to a squirrel at sort of Route 66 from our cherry tree behind me down to the pergola over there. So I went out and bought a 25 millimeter diameter shiny pole here. It's actually a clothes rail and shoved the bird buddy on the top there. Quite a distance from the wall and I thought far enough away that no squirrel is ever going to get to that. But no, the next thing I found was this squirrel climbing what I thought was an unclimbably shiny pole and then so now it's time for some more drastic action. First of all, I'm going to move the pole even further from the wall. This must be beyond jumping distance now. There we go. There we go. And now for my secret weapon. Some premium engine oil, 15W40, in case you're wondering. Now, there we go. Climb that, you greedy bastard. Well, it's now about a week and a whole bag of peckish bird food later, and I still have yet to see anything other than a Eurasian magpie, a Western jackdaw, magpie, blackbird magpie, jackdaw, 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 and one particularly enthusiastic squirrel which managed to climb my greasy pole. Now I should point out that Bird Buddy does offer a subscription which allows you to tell it to ignore certain species so you're not bothered with unnecessary notifications. The problem is, I've developed a pathological hatred of subscriptions. They're just an easy way to take money off people like me who forget to cancel them. And anyway, why would I pay a subscription to stop getting pictures of magpies, jackdaws and squirrels when the cheaper answer might be to stop feeding them in the first place. The subscription also upgrades the video quality, which is also a little bit pointless. For a start, the picture quality on a mobile phone is very good already on the free version. And secondly, I don't need a higher definition film of a magpie. The subscription also gives you the opportunity to share the pictures from your bird buddy with up to 10 friends. I say 10 friends, um, they probably won't be for very long. Subscriptions also unlocks Frenzy Mode, which allows the bird buddy to shoot more and more pictures of jackdaws and squirrels. And then finally, the subscription also allows you to see the pictures from other people's bird buddies from around the world. So now you can see what a Canadian grey squirrel looks like. Actually, I am being a little bit unfair there. Look at all these lovely, interesting birds there are in other countries around the world. Now, I must say, I was really looking forward to the bird buddy here. I thought it would catch all manner of interesting birds. But then I remembered, apparently flying insects, otherwise known as organic bird food, declined by 60% between 2004 and 2022. And that, along with several other factors, has caused a significant decline in quite a few species of smaller birds. So here in Somerset, we seem to have been left with magpies, jackdaws, blackbirds, pigeons and squirrels. And if there is so much as a robin anywhere within a few miles of my bird buddy, it's simply not going to get a look in past the feeding frenzy of bigger birds. So there we have it. I think the bird buddy is great in theory. And if you can get over the irritation of the subscription model, it's well made and works very well, even the free version. The problem, I think, is that to get the maximum value from this thing, you really need to live somewhere where there are interesting birds, and the English countryside just doesn't cut it anymore.
I think I'd need to move to the Amazon rainforest, or what's left of it. So in the end, I thought I might put this thing on eBay. The problem is that the squirrels have eaten half of it. But I tell you what, if you live somewhere with more interesting birds and would like to make me an offer, I'm all ears. With the solar roof, the Bird Buddy costs $269. Though you can't actually buy them in the UK at the moment, so you'd also have to pay a little extra to a service like myus.com to forward it. But if you also live somewhere that's a bit short on interesting birds and you're trying to think of more useful ways to spend your money in your garden, you might like to watch my review of a couple of bits of battery-powered garden gear. I'll put a link below. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.